Hello everyone, are you excited to know about what is coming in Endgame 2.0 update? And also, is this gonna be the last update or is this just the start of the game? Then follow along and we're gonna, gonna go through everything that I know about Endgame 2.0 update. The first thing I want to talk about is the achievements. You see there is three area that is uh, open here for the achievement, which is the prodigious and sudden and mythical level. All these three is going to come in Endgame 2.0 after what I know. The second thing is that area that is behind me here is going to open up. There is also going to be a gate into the jungle, like a quick gate that we have for jungle to the start area. And in this area, I believe there is coming an ascended egg. I don't know, but I believe it's coming. I also, there is going to be like a wall upgrade that's going to upgrade either metallic pets or metallic skins. Because that is entering into the game. There's also going to be crystals that is way more gold rich than the crystals in Grotto. And also, as I understand, you, like you see all these chests coming in from my side here. There's going to come a new size of these chests that's going to try to beat the like issues in the game. So then about metallic pets, what is that going to be? Metallic pets going to be like a new type of pets or a new type of skin. We don't 100% know about it, but he is calling it metallic pets. There is some limitation with metallic pets. You can only get one of each. It's not like the shiny skins where you can get many, many, many an unlimited amount of a shiny skin for one pet type. You, but you can only get one per pet type. So the maximum amount of metallic skins you can get is 240. How, what, how much damage is this gonna pet to do? As I know, he had a comment saying that a common uh, metallic pet is gonna do more damage than a shiny mythical pet. So it's probably gonna do a little bit more damage than that. And also for the metallic, it's gonna come in different uh, skin, uh, metallic skins. And this is gonna make us a little bit confusing. I think it's metallic skins is coming, right? You both write metallic pets and metallic skins. But it becomes metallic pets when you take the metallic skin on them, I believe. But the skins is gonna come in five different levels. It's gonna be chrome, it's gonna be gold, diamond, obsidian, and titan. And they're gonna do like more and more um, damage for this. The metallic skins is gonna be 100 times more rare to get than the shiny skins. So they're gonna be really, really hard to get. In the upgrade area, we don't know too much about it. There's just only one upgrade that we know is most likely gonna come. And that is one that is called Metallic Pets. Get a damage multiplier based on your number of shiny skins for the uh, that type of pets. So it means that basically Metallic Pets is gonna be able to do more damage if you unlock this feature um, in here. I, I'm quite sure it's gonna be an upgrade in this area so that you can even do even more metal, uh, damage on those Metallic Pets. So it means Shiny Skins is becoming even more important. As you know from before, Shiny Skins can al already give you more gold income, like I have 16% more gold income for this, but also when they gonna affect the metallic skins it's gonna give it like a two time effect of this so shine so go out there and collect a lot of shiny skins we are also gonna get a new area in the rebirth area that's co gonna connect here you will need 10,000 pet score as you need 1,000 in shiny score for the other er area but in this area there will come three machines maybe there's something else will come as well I don't know but the machine that's gonna come is a generation station this generation station can um, uh, automatic uh, hatch uh, eggs for you or hatch pads pets for you and in the cost for those eggs is going to be drawn directly from your gold this machine can be upgraded it's going to have a start cost of 100 um, mythical stones and then it can be upgraded i don't know if it's going to be mythical or mythical stones or gold that's going to upgrade it but i believe it's going to be mythical stones since it's in within the rebirth area right and and the chance for metallic skin that's going to be in the first area the, the new area that's going to come it's going to be gold upgrade like we normally have it so bas basically if you upgrade this uh, generation station to maximum you should be able to hatch five pets per second 
The second machine that is coming is Automation Station. And this is a fantastic machine. This is the machine that is really gonna hand good for every one of us, but especially for you that doesn't have any Robux in the game. This is the way for you to be able to get to end game. So get to 10,000 pet score and you're gonna get an automatic fusing machine uh, that's gonna fuse your pets automatically for you and, and, and equip them at sale. That it's both equipping and fusing for you. So you, it, when you have this update here, you will no longer actually needing the fusing machine that much anymore. But they, it costs 100 mit uh, mythical crystals to unlock this machine. I don't think it's gonna be any upgrade on this machine. Maybe it's gonna be I don't know, but at least it's gonna cost 100 to upgrade. The third machine that's gonna come in, in here is called a qualification machine. This also costs 100 mythical stone to get. And what this machine is doing is basically can make convert your mythical pets to mythical stones. Basically, this means that you don't need to rebirth anymore in the game uh, for that. But of course, the fastest way to get a high pet score is still gonna be rebirthing in the game. At least for a long, long time. Maybe in the future it's gonna go faster using this machine than going doing actual rebirth and collect all the 240 pets again. So basically this is what's gonna come in Upgrade 2.0, maybe something else is coming, but when is it coming? It's gonna come the 29th, so it's not where a long time to, so he's aiming to get it the 29th of July, and if he doesn't manage to do that, he has been saying that he's, it's gonna come two weeks later, 12th of August. If that happens, it's gonna be a three-time event the 29th of July, but I, as I understand, I'm really looking forward for this uh, update. <laughs> Are you looking forward for it? What, do you think I have forgot anything in this video? Please add it. And I would really like to see you in game again. This was number one game of that Viper Toffee. Like and subscribe and have a nice day. Bye bye.